Let's start with a little review of vocabulary. So first word here is realized or a realized return. And so realized always means what already happened. So realized is what happened in reality. So we're dealing with realized returns for a stock, for the overall market, and for the T-bill. Second thing is normal return. So a normal return is the return that an asset pricing model says should have happened or the return that's explained by the model. And so here we're in a cap M world. And so uh, the normal return for the stock is just the part of the stock's realized return that is explained by the cap M. And so in that's just going to be the risk free rate plus the stock's beta times the realized return on the market portfolio minus the risk free rate. So there's the realized return. This just basically answers the question of what should have happened to the stock according to the cap M. The abnormal return in contrast is the extra. That's the extra or the unexplained part of the return. And so this can be a positive number or a negative number and it's just going to equal the realized return minus that. And so let's add some numbers here and do our calculations. We'll start with the uh, normal part or the part that's explained by the cap M. So if the treasury bill realized 2.4% and the overall market went down 4.7%, what should this stock have done according to the cap M? So the normal return on the T-bill plus stocks beta times the difference between the overall market, and so that's a negative 0.047 minus 0.024, so the difference between the overall market and the T-bill. Now, recognize this was a very bad year for the market, right? A big negative return. And so since this is a positive beta stock, we expect or we, 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 we could explain a negative return for the stock as something that's attributable to the market. So this normal return is going to be some negative number. So the part of the return that's explained by the market would be a negative point. Oh, six, eight, three, right? Since the market was down, we could explain a big negative movement in the stock. But what happened with the stock? The stock actually had a positive return. So it's abnormal return is whatever is not explained by the market. So 0 0.088 minus a negative 0 0.0683. And so that's a huge positive abnormal return of 0 0.1563. All right, so another thing to keep in mind here is this is a decomposition. So the abnormal plus the normal should equal the total realized return. So let's just check and see if that is true. So the, we'll just do it right down here. So the, uh, so the normal is minus 0 0.0683 plus 0.1563. What does that equal? Exactly, 0 0.08. Eight. So there's the normal. 
there's the abnormal, and there's the total or the realized return.